Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Lab Power Fab Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am Technical Manager for MIS here at Trimble. In today's short video, I want to quickly show you a hidden gem that can be very helpful. It's been in the software for a while and can truly help purchasing managers or pretty much anyone submitting purchase orders through Tecla PowerFab. Uh, it is called Purchase History and can be found either from purchase orders or from inventory. Uh, so when you go through purchase orders and you go inside any purchase order, uh, you can open it in two different ways, either doing Control H on your keyboard and it will just launch directly into the screen or you can also find it directly from the drop down menu as you can see. So if you go to purchase history, it will go directly to the selected shape in that moment, as you can see and show you uh, the selected shape, size, grade and vendor. Uh, but that's just the default set. You can always remove this option on the top and load history for any items that you want, as I'll show you next. Uh, one of the beauties of these things is you can see history of uh, pricing, uh, how often you used to buy this, which purchase order you buy these items in particular uh, from pretty much since the day one where you started using Tecla PowerFab. And have in mind that like, like any other uh, display, you can also customize the grid to include the different columns that you care about uh, to obtain information. If I close this just to show you from the inventory, it's pretty much the same. If I go and open my inventory here in Tecla PowerFab, uh, you can also access from the inventory drop down. In this case, I have it set up here as Control P, or you know, just simply again using the drop down menu, you'll go and launch. And, and again, it will go straight to the selected shape. As you can see in here, I had selected a white flange 8x10, I'm sorry, 8x10, and I have nothing uh, in history for that item, but I can always go and say, uh, you know what, let me go and open this history for a 24 by 55 uh by an, a specific vendor or not i'll just go ahead and load the history and it will go and launch immediately the history of those items again you can close the range of dates of the purchase orders that you're looking for if you are you know trying to find information about the last year or the last few months uh, that will be the way to go a job in particular again if this is more about getting the historic pricing data from a job in a specific that will that could be the way i can even just remove uh, all the filters here and that will means that I need to find all the information. As you can see, as I remove this, the, the filter specify changes to all, and then I can go and select a specific job and just load the history for, job, for that job in particular. And that will show information for all the shapes and sizes that were purchased for that job. So it can be really helpful to find information. Uh, it's accessible to you. Like any other display, you can export this to an Excel and analyze the information even further. So hopefully this helps you a lot. And as always, thank you for watching.